am here with Abraham Ortega. Him and his father own the business. It's a family owned business, which we can definitely appreciate. I wanted just to ask you real quick to give us a little bit of background of you guys in particular, Limitless Boats and, and where you're at today, if you don't mind. All righty, pretty much we started into the fiberglass business, same way everybody does. My dad started this at eight bucks an hour as a laminator for Bertram back in 2003. Then eventually he worked his way up. He started subcontracting work for a contractor and then he eventually got the Bertram contract. Once we started making parts for Bertram, they went ahead and they moved from the river to Merritt Island. When they got to Merritt Island, they stayed there a couple years. My dad was the only contractor that they they took up there and then they got sold out they closed the company and the same establishment where Bertram used to be Merritt Island Boat Works bought in which is Ocean Alexander they kept the same president which was a good friend of ours and we kept making parts for them eventually we got the CV contract where we used to make their center consoles and finish their deck caps then you know we just played around we had different contracts manufacturing parts for people and we decided one day you know why don't we just launch our own line do our own thing Yep. And that's what we did. We opened the company back in 2018, but 2021 was our first production year. And uh, having looked back, it's been great. There's been a, you know, a bunch of ups and downs, especially with this Corona stuff, not having parts, not having a lot of things. But thankfully, yep. we, we pushed through and, and here we are. The reason why I wanted to mention that is a lot of people, you know, come out with, with newer companies and they feel like these guys just came from, you know, the restaurant industry and decided to build boats. And that's usually not the case. These guys have been in this industry and his father in particular for what? 15 years, how many years has it been since? Pretty much 20 now. He started 20? being a laminator back in 03. Yeah, so 20 years working for other companies and doing and creating parts for companies like CV Boats and Bertram, things like that. And you can see in the Limitless 26 in particular that the fit and finish of this boat is literally one of the best that we have ever seen and especially on a boat under 30 feet. So you're not jumping into a company here that just came out of nowhere with no experience. These guys have a ton of experience and it shows in their boat. Let's go ahead and take a look around and show our audience exactly what it is we're talking about. Abraham, starting off at the bow here, let's go through first some of the specs. How many gallons of fuel does it hold? What's the beam on this thing? Go through a few of those so we can get it out of the way. Alrighty, so the length overall is 26.8, beam is 8.6, 150 gallons of gas, 25 fresh water. Pretty much everything you're gonna see here is standard, obviously apart from a couple options, but our fiberglass unit pulls a standard, sea chest is standard. There's a couple of options we didn't necessarily want to give out to the client simply because we wanted to hold our boat at a certain standard and mostly right. just to kind of go with the line, you know, there's certain- Of course, and I see some changes that you guys have made from some of the previous boats, which right. I really like, and we'll get to those in a minute, but let's go ahead and start right here at the anchor locker. We just deployed the windlass, so we dropped this thing down and you can just see the finish and the catch of this hatch right here. You can compare it to any manufacturer out there and the fit and finish is absolutely phenomenal. Great option to have through hole windlass so you can't even see anything. Top deck, easy to deploy, and then it hides completely out of the way. They have diamond nod skid, as you can see, up on the cap and on the deck. Great upholstery. Who do you guys use for upholstery, by the way? We use a newer gentleman who's somewhat like us. His company is JPM Upholstery. As you Done can great see, work. You can see the beautiful. Not only that, every teak accent you see here, none of this is released marine. All of this is strictly customized from him. House. Same That's thing awesome. with our captain chairs and everything. The fiberglass piece that we make him back, everything is, is hand in hand with him. He's a very creative young gentleman and his company's great. Very nice. Yeah. No, the upholstery looks fantastic. And first one we see with the teak accents, it really brings a classy look to the entire boat. Let's go ahead and pop this up. What do we have here? Forward fish box. So a good size box for a 26 footer. Are these insulated? Yes, Mas correct. Macerated? All of them. Yes, correct. So this is actually an actual fish box. Obviously, we just have some life jackets in here now. They do have a decking material underneath here, which serves two purposes. It's an insulation and also the gasket to stop the water from actually getting in there. Correct. So we actually really like this feature right here. And then all these hatches are gas shocked. So it makes it real easy to open and close. Gemlux hardware? Yes, correct. Gemlux hardware throughout, as I can see with the rod holders and everything as well. Deck caps, hard top, everything is one piece. I don't use two sides to a mold. So there is no putty, there is no forward face and interface. That comes out crude fiberglass on the bottom, obviously solidifying and making it a lot harder by not having that bonding putty. And then finish gets done on the whole. Much lighter, side. I assume, too, weight wise. Mm -hmm. This is a three piece hull. Correct. Right? Yes. So one thing I want to mention as well, which, which many of you don't maybe no and we get this question a lot when they compare limitless to some other production boats is there's a three-piece hull and there's a two-piece hull 
three piece basically means you have a hull, you have your deck and liner, which this is one piece. And then this cap piece is a third piece, which when sandwiched together creates a very solid structure. And it throughout the industry known as the better practice, I would, I would say everyone has their own opinions. There is the two piece, which basically has your hull and then your deck liner and cap come together as two pieces. And then there's foam throughout here. You're not going to have those void, those air voids. So you're going to see or feel a more solid ride right. overall. And, and we, we tend to lean in that direction and really appreciate seeing that in the 26 foot limitless. You guys also utilized every bit of space having this usually is just the dead shelving. space in the hole. So you right. create a shelf there. You can throw some flip flops. You can throw fenders, whatever, you, you know, want. it's just added storage space, dock lines, things like that. And then they have drainage off that back end. So any water that falls in there just flows its way out. Correct. JL audio speakers. You guys mainly use Auto JL round. audio. Yes, correct. Only JL. Only JL. Correct. That's what we see most of the time and love to see it. They're a spectacular company. This is a nice little access door here to your anchor line. If you were to get a kink or anything there, it's easy to get in and out of that. And they also created a base there to be able to tie off your anchor line. We have seen people completely lose those anchors. So that's a small little detail, but a very important one. Correct, the standard configuration up here in the front, but you could also get forward seat. It's molded in, so it looks like part of the liner. Forward seating. Correct. And we have seen the forward seating models, and I'm sure you guys maybe have in some of our social media posts, but they do, you know, they don't just drop in pieces, you know, bolt them down and throw a caulk line around it. I mean, these guys do an, a custom sport fish quality construction when they do that forward seating. And we'll try to track one of those down so you can see it, right. but it's absolutely oh. phenomenal. And I see one of the changes that we have seen is that you used to have one of these forward opening Correct. console doors, which you removed, now have the side door, side which door. I'm a big fan of personally. We also added in the two storages underneath right here next to the center console. So this used to be dead space. We went ahead and we added- uh, These deck boxes right here? Correct. Two these are also insulated? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Very nice. You can never have enough storage and that's something right there midship that's pretty rare to find in a 26. Something that I absolutely love is the recessed speaker. You have your subwoofer right here and not that the JLs pop out too much, but they do come out, you know, inch and a half, something like that. And just walking through here, you can clip your leg, your shin or, or, or anything. So they do take the extra effort to recess this subwoofer into the console, get it completely out of the way and it gives it just an gorgeous finish overall. Since they remove that forward opening, which again, a lot of this boat building stuff all comes down to efficiency of the manufacturing. That's gonna help the cost, the, pr the price you're getting the boat for, how quick you're gonna get that boat. So all this plays a huge part. And this right here is very popular. They actually created this separation in the middle because of the space here, so it won't hit. You can actually open that and get out of the way and you have a whole drop down head compartment here. Easy access to your rigging push button battery switches and your ignition switches right underneath a ton of space in this head for a 26 footer. Abraham, let's go ahead and talk about the helm area, this enclosure, hard top. What did you guys do here? Alrighty, so pretty much this setup can be according to however the customer wants it. If you want speaker pods, if you want storage, maybe you want the enclosure or just, you know, the windshield, if whatever the windshield electronic is an you want. Yeah. Okay. The windshield is actually what comes standard, and then you can get the three-piece acrylic enclosure around the T-top or the full polycarbonate enclosure. Then electronics, it's whatever setup you want to do, pretty much whatever we can fit and according to what electronics the client wants, that's what we set up. You know, it's okay. pretty custom in here. And every piece on this boat is infused, right? Correct, right. everything. Center console, deck cap, liner, hull, hatches, hard top. This actually comes out crude fiberglass on the bottom, and then we add whatever pieces we want. So there is no bottom side to this. This comes out yeah. with fiberglass and then we'll juco it and we'll sand it down and, and- That's crazy. One of the craziest parts I think I've ever seen is one of these hard tops from you guys in black. And again, this is not finished at all. They have somebody coming and doing all the finish work from underneath the this. And obviously with the reflection of the sunlight hitting the water, this is like the one spot that you'd notice any imperfection defect, more than anywhere on the boat. Mm -hmm. So it's a risky move, but correct. it shows a lot of confidence in the quality of work that you guys are capable of. Correct, yes sir. Also the console here, it's a good height. You know, I'm not a huge guy. I can see perfectly well over this nice enclosure. I like this visor you guys put here. It deflects a little bit of that sunlight to your MFDs. Garments do have that matte finish, which helped towards that as well. You got your Mercury vessel view. You got two fifties on this. What does it do performance wise? 
Alrighty, so with 250s, you're cruising around 44, 45, burning 1.9, uh, two gallons. So your range is about 300 nautical miles. And then you top out at 63. Very nice. All right, perfect. perfect. So that's that's all you need on this boat, twin two. Yeah, that's that's that's. But you guys go up to three hundred, or what do you guys um, talk about it? It it all depends on the client. You know, if the client wants to go that route, then yeah, we can we can go ahead and accommodate them. But usually, most of our guys get two hundreds, twin two two fives, or twin two fifties. Okay, yeah. perfect. Let's talk about these helm chairs right here. It's one of the first things I noticed when you pulled up on this boat here today. Obviously, teak throughout. The upholstery is phenomenal and it really gives this boat a really classy touch. Yeah, is yes. something new? Yeah, so there's two configurations to this leading post. The standard one is about five to six inches taller. That way you get the standard bench seat. Then you can go ahead and get captain's chairs, fiberglass ones, or you can go ahead and get the teak accented captain's chairs, which obviously is, is an upgrade, but to me, in, in my opinion, they're beautiful Gorgeous. and they're definitely worth it. Got the Limitless logo etched in the back and everything, adjustable armrests, absolutely Correct. gorgeous. And I like the smaller, kind of more concise leaning post option as well. You still have a little tackle station back here, Correct. put three Plano boxes, pliers, fluorocarbons, everything you need. And this table can be a little rigging station if you want. Correct. Obviously you can fit some cup holders there, maybe some, I don't know if rod holders fit in this configuration there as well, but this is kind of more like the wine and cheese mm -hmm. edition compared to Correct. maybe that taller one, yeah. which has the rod holders and the it's standard more direct one fishing option. To, to fit it and not clash with the with okay. the storage. Correct. Under that as well, you can fit a cooler and you have a little retractable Correct. setup there as well, which is excellent. You can't ever have too much cooler space, but that's a great spot to be able to throw your drinks and you can get that cooler up and out of the boat, which is what Correct. I like. Cause if you, you know, if you leave those drinks in there and that water, they get soggy, slimy. So I usually like to take that cooler on and off the boat, set it up at home or at, at the, the office, at the dock, wherever you're gonna do it, then drop it in in place when you're getting ready to get out and do your thing. So both port and starboard, you have two additional fish boxes, which go a good way in both directions, giving you great space. And this is usually the ones that I end up using for fish. Are these macerated? Yes, and insulated both. Macerated, insulated, so you can get those fish guts, bloody water out of the boat without draining them into the build, which is nice. Again, gas shocked, and then that decking material, which is great. Then we're gonna roll our way into the bilge. So as I crack this open, you can see you have an ample space to be able to jump in there and do your thing. I see Gemlux valves, a two pump sea chest, which is excellent. Providing water to the pretty large live wells you got port and starboard with that aquarium option, which is a pretty one for sure. How many gallons do you have on each one of these, Abraham? 25 a pop, so 50 in total. 50 in total, so it's great to have that sea chest in there so you don't have those air voids when you're running the boat some sort of long distance and you can pressurize your live wells by adjusting those valves exactly how you want them. So since the bilge, sometimes it's difficult to access all the way back in there. They actually added this acrylic piece, which I thought was really nice. You can get this out of the way and you can reach some of those harder to reach valves back into the transom. So just an additional little item there for ease of maintenance. And you can tell that Limitless has thought all these things very well through. So they actually integrated their wash down hoses into the liner as well. So you don't have some sort of, you know, third party attachment or stick to be able to hose, hold that hose for you. Really nice little detail and something you usually see on much larger, more extravagant boats. Another detail that you may not notice, but is beautifully done by Limitless is that they created a toe kick underneath both live wells in this whole transom area. So believe it or not, if that was not there and your toes could not go any further than that, you kind of lean forward in somewhat of an uncomfortable position. So here, you actually can tuck your toes in there. You can actually pull up and you pin yourself in if you're fighting a fish and it makes it a ton more comfortable. Obviously this transom without having the live well down the center gives you the option to put a bunch of rod holders down the center here if you like, and the fishability here is phenomenal. Then lastly, jumping into the transom, they used to have this bucket here, but now with the new engine configurations, they're able to have a flat transom offering you a ton more room back here. So now this is actually all usable. You're not tripping into you know, a hole back there. And to be able to jump in and out of the boat with the retractable ladder is incredibly easy. Just to show you how much room you have here, you have the retractable ladder right underneath me. You have a cleat right here you can use to get up and out if you want an additional handle. And then how nice is this? You have a little fresh water shower head right here you can rinse off whether you're diving or at the sandbar with the family and then jump in the boat 
nice and fresh. Well, there you have it. That was the Limitless 26. Abraham, thank you very much for taking the time as always. Thank you, my friend. Definitely appreciate it. Love what your father and you have been creating here. Big fans of Limitless. And I just wanted to let people know, if you guys are interested in a Limitless 26, getting a quote, where can they contact you? So you guys can go to the website, limitlessposts.com, or you guys can follow us on Instagram, Limitless Boats. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. We'll do our best to give you our honest opinion of this boat without Abraham in front of us. <laughs> so we always like to do that. We appreciate your time. Like, follow, subscribe, and we'll see you here again soon at Center Console Zone.